This video is brought to you by Monster Insights. I'm going to show you how to disable your automatic updates for your WordPress website. And I'll show you two different methods that you can use so you can pick the one that works best for you. Hey everyone, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. And one of the ways to grow your website is by maintaining it. And one of the ways to maintain it is by doing updates to your site. And this could be your plugins, the core of WordPress or your themes. And you can always tell when your site needs updates by a little icon here, where it usually shows you the updates that are needed. We're going to throw a bit of caution here. However, you can disable automatic updates, but by and large, we really recommend that you allow at least the core automatic updates to happen simply because older code get just opens up your site to security breaches where hackers can go in and hack your site. And then you also want to make sure that you have a backup of your site before you do any of this. So the first method we're going to use is by adding a plugin. So we're going to go to plugins, add new, and we're searching for easy updates manager. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install now. And don't worry if you don't want to use a plugin, stick around for the second method where I'll show you how to do, how to disable automatic updates without using a plugin. I also want to activate the plugin. Great. Now it's installed. You might see this depending on your hosting provider. They may have already set automatically set the automatic updates to be disabled because they're handling it for you. If you see that, then that's likely the cause. So now we can come over here, your dashboard open so we can go to update options updates options, a bit of a mouthful. And down here under general is where we want to make the changes. Now you can disable all updates. However, if you do that, you won't even get a notification like you see here. So you will have no idea when or if you have any updates that you need to handle. So we don't recommend you doing disable all updates instead. Let's go down here to configure each one separately. In fact, one of the things we recommend is go ahead and allow auto updates of all minor versions of WordPress core updates. And then under plugins, you can disable them. And what you want to do is disable the auto updates. If you disable the plugin updates, then again, you won't see any of the icons or the notifications that you need to update. So for both plugins and themes. Then you can also enable notification emails and you can add an email here as well. And, and now you're pretty much set for that. Now, the other cool thing that you can do is you can go under logs and with logs, you can see previous versions or previous updates that have happened and you can even roll back if needed. So if something happens, then you should have a log here of what happened and you should have an action where you can go and roll it back, meaning go back to the the last known good state of your website. The other cool thing is with easy updates manager, it integrates with updraft plus. So that means like we said, you want to make a copy or back up your website before you do anything. Well, it integrates with updraft plus where it will automatically create a backup of your site before it makes any changes, which is very cool. And then if you really want to get into it, their pro version has some really cool features where you can schedule your automatic updates for maybe a low traffic period of your site or even on the weekends and things like that. Now, if you're not wanting to add another plugin to your website, then let me show you the methods that you can do to disable it. For instance, when you saw that notification up here, that was because the hosting provider for the site has already disabled the automatic updates. But if you want to do it on your own, you will want to head over to your hosting provider so you can log in and get to your file manager. So however it works with Bluehost or SiteGround, You'll need to log in to your hosting account and any, all of them are a little bit different, but basically you want to get to your C panel where you can scroll down and find your file manager and then open it up to your website. And once you're in your website folder, it's usually at the base of your website, scroll down and you're looking for WP config PHP. We can highlight that. We'll come up here and edit and go ahead and edit. And then you're searching for if there's a WP underscore auto underscore update underscore core. If there's already something in there, then you don't want to add it again. For instance, this has been added by SiteGround. The best thing to do is just scroll down until there's not any more, until you don't see any more code start a new line and then add this bit of code. So we'll go ahead and save that and we can close it. And then the second thing you need to do 
to disable automatic updates of your plugins and your themes is we need to add another bit of code to the functions.php in your themes. So again, I'm in my website folder and I'm looking for WP content. So I'm gonna click into that folder. I'm going to click into the theme that I'm using. And right now I'm using the Astra theme for this one. I'm looking for the functions.php. I'm gonna highlight that and come up here and click edit. So I can edit this. And with this, we wanna just scroll all the way down until I don't see anything else. I'm gonna to go to the end of the last line and I want to do return a couple of times. So I have a new line and I'm adding two lines of code. So the first one will be this. And then the second one is this. So basically it's auto updating plugin return false, meaning we're not going to update it. Same with the theme and then we're good to go. Now we'll have a link in the description below of our written tutorial on this. So you can find this code there. And once you're done with all of that, just click save and now automatic updates won't happen for your theme, your plugins, or your core WordPress. A bit of note when you do the code method, this is theme specific. So if you ever change to a different theme, then your automatic updates for your plugins and for your themes will start happening again. And then one of the best ways to find out how your website is doing is by installing and using Monster Insights. Monster Insights shows you so much from your dashboard on how your website is doing with traffic as well as your top performing pages and so much more. To get started, just head over to monsterinsights.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP to get the best discount on Monster Insights. And if you're curious about the best way to install plugins, watch this video next where we show you three different methods that you can do to install a plugin for your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.